Hi friends, today I am going to tell you something about Nebothian cyst, which are filled up of mucus. They are present on the cervix. So, let me tell you something about the cervix. Cervix is actually the neck of the uterus. The whatever part of the cervix that you can see during the gynecological examination is known as ectocervix. And here in the diagram you can see a hole in the side in the side. This hole is known as external os and beyond that hole the cervix is known as endocervix. Ectocervix is lined by stratified squamous epithelium. Squamous epithelium, yeah. And while the endocervix is lined by simple columnar epithelium, so there lies an area where both are present and this part is known as transformation zone. Ectocervix is further divided into the two parts, anterior lip and the posterior lip. Cervix has a property to generate the mucus which sometimes act as a barrier so as the spermatozoa may not pass and this cervical mucus is also helpful in pregnancy. So this mucus, that its, its consistency, its everything varies with the menstrual cycle and most of this cervical mucus, about 90% of the cervical mucus contains of water and other electrolytes and minerals etc are also present in it. So in that zone the formation of these Nebothian cysts is seen and these Nebothian cysts are usually harmless. No intervention is required. These Nebothian cysts are harmless and no intervention is required. Sometimes they are associated with cervicitis as in the cervix you can see cervicitis as well as Nebothian cyst. It can be removed by electrocautery or the cryotherapy. Thank you for giving your valuable time.